Okay, so we're going to look at, um, this is a, a Henner Gracie Triangle Choke Escape, which I thought was pretty cool, so we're going to go over that. Especially um, when I pull down the head. So let's just go over what I want to achieve from the Triangle Choke. From this position, once I get into the Triangle Trap, I'm going to have head control. I want to cut an angle and get an underhook, get my lower back off the mat, get... Um, my choking leg over Shea's shoulders, and then I'm gonna lock in that triangle. Now, whether I bring the arm across doesn't really matter. Donner's method, it didn't really matter whether the arm was across or not. Switch positions, bro. Just so Shea has me in the triangle trap position. We're here. First thing is, I, I, if I have a choice, I don't want it across. Okay, so immediately this hand just makes a wedge on the hip. So you just make a C grip and I'm wedging with an open elbow. I don't care if he pulls my head down or not. Half the battle is trying to stay postured and you'll get people that are very good at breaking your posture. Once I'm here and I block um, the hip on the same side that my, uh, the, that my arm is inside the triangle, I'm going to walk with my knees and try to walk um, Shea's left knee to the mat, the one that's under my armpit. And once I walk it as close as I can to the mat, it's not important if I don't get it all the way to the mat. I replace my right hand grip with my left hand grip. So I have a free arm here. I'm just going to release and I grab the hip. My second hand, whatever I had, the first grip comes back and I hug the leg as in an underhook. And I'm just going to put Shea's knee on the mat. Now if he tries to do his triangle or whatever he wants to do from that position, very, very difficult. Now I need to free my head. So from here, my left hand, that um, was the second grip, there'll always be a space at the groin. So I just bring my hand inside and put it on my left ear. Clamp bro, your legs. So now from there, that left arm has made a wedge. So even if I'm just clamping with the stays to keep my head inside the triangle, that makes a block so I can physically pull my head out. Now my right arm that was hugging his leg, underhooks, and he turn the corner and move into side control. Just keep that angle broke. Perfect. Something's on that side. So from the triangle trap, we'll just go from here. Once I'm here, again, it's just a battle. He wants to pull my head down, so I'm just going to let him pull my head down. And this hand makes a wedge on the hip, and I just clamp back with my elbow. Now I'm going to walk his left knee to the mat, as close to the mat as I can, and then he replace my right hand grip with my left hand grip, and just cut the hip. The right hand now comes back, and I put the crook of my arm around his knee, as if I'm hugging his leg, and then I'll bring that towards the mat again. From this position, she's going to try and, even opposite side triangle is going to be very, very difficult from that position, because he wants to occupy the space here. And even if he arches away to try and get an angle back, I can just follow him at, at, at ease. Once I'm here, my left hand grip that has his left hip is just going to come in and I put it on my left ear. I make that wedge so even if he's clamping with his legs, I can extract my head. And now my right hand, the one that was hugging the leg, comes up and underhooks the top leg. Now I'm going to start to turn the corner. And look to pass to the side, the opposite side of where his knees are pointing. So, could we escape, especially if they've continually broke your posture?